<laughs> we'll move on to Barry. Steve mentioned Barry, critically acclaimed, very uh, popular show right now. Bill Hader, you know, at the helm. <clears throat> uh, season two, we haven't we haven't really talked much about it. Um, season two, I, I think people were kind of wondering how is this show gonna continue its its momentum from season one, which uh, has been just lauded and was on top of everybody's favorite shows of last year. And they definitely, I think, actually upped their game this season. And I think that speaks to not only Hater. I, I felt like he kind of uh, went up another level in terms of performance. But I think also just the show in general um, is very creative. And it speaks on themes that not a lot of other shows are necessarily talking about. Uh, that it brings out the best of whoever it is. And uh, I thought the season two finale alley was a great culmination of that and i just want to see what happens in season three now with the way it ends they they, they do cliffhangers really well in this show almost mm. to like a fault where i feel like really frustrated I'm like i just want to watch more now which is great but also like give me more barry uh what were your thoughts on season two yeah as you said lot, and i was part of this a lot of concern trolling about the need to keep the show going and the desire to keep the show going. You mentioned this, we talked about the premiere and again, it's kind of foolish to tell people that the best thing they ever made should stop right away. Like obviously <laughs> it's not the most realistic thing in the world, especially yeah. when 500 scripted shows are made every year. <laughs> but what most impressed me about Barry in season two wasn't so much the, the cliffhanger at the end, although I did that find that very effective and, I was really just impressed with the continued character growth, basically across everywhere. And Barry, as we learn about his uh, incident and resulting PTSD from Afghanistan, yep. um, just adding more and more layers to everyone in the story. And along the way, Fuchs, who was really kind of an aloof, uh, jolly, character you know going mm -hmm. full antagonist by the end of this and doing some truly sinister things in the back half of the season yeah felt totally earned and and right and you understood why fuchs was going down that road but it was still tough to tough to swallow and i think that's ultimately the overall takeaway of with barry is that it's a show that has a lot of really dark humor and mm -hmm. there's a lot of drama here and a lot of funny shit, but a lot of times it's uh, it's tough. And Sally has, I think, a great arc. I know some people found Sally to be a bit of a uh, irritating presence at times, just in terms of coming across as more of a self-centered person in the beginning. You know, your typical uh, wannabe LA uh, resident trying to find stardom, all that it was not a uh, unique in the beginning. Mm -hmm. but they had a lot more layers of Sally in terms of her past trauma and the, 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 all the things she weighs in her decisions. And I really liked her arc and Sarah Goldberg again, continues to impress in that role. Um, and then Noho Hank, a character that we were yes. very happy stood stuck around at the end of season one, Anthony Kerrigan just really sells it. And even Hank ha has, has a bit of a journey yeah. as the Chechens and Bolivians and, Burmese all reject him over time and then most of them die at the yep. end anyway but yeah I um and as we said before Hiro Mirai shoots most of this and it looks amazing the saturation yep. color saturation is really great all the time uh yep so it's just an awesome visual watch but having the beats having Barry and his relationship with Gene and it's just really great to watch and even if sometimes it's awfully, awfully dark. And I think that that's quite the testament that you can make people disinvested in something that's often not very happy. Yeah, it, it, I mean, if you think about it, it's centered around Barry's PTSD, how Fuchs has taken advantage of his PTSD, um, how Sally has her own PTSD, but from kind domestic of violence, from domestic violence, but uses that in a way to like propel her self and her career forward mm -hmm. um gene dealing with his trauma now from the loss of the love of his life detective yeah. i forget his grief name is. 
Yes, just grief in general. Janice. And then, yeah, Janice. And then you kind of see them putting in commentary on L.A. lifestyle, on people chasing success, people using these things in their life to get success and then also commentary in the second to last episode about how easy it is for you know men like barry to get auditions and sally has to yes. claw and scrape her way around it and i think that there's some really smart commentary throughout um it it, it works on so many different levels that it's just really fantastic you know no ho hank i i'm always gonna remember him when when the bus started to burn the, the barbecue bus and him just kind of like making all these confessions uh similar to uh i'm trying to think of the movie right now almost famous you know when when they're on the plane and it almost goes down um just uh the the show has so many moments and i think the the episode most people talked about this season was i think it was episode four entitled lily uh about ronnie slash lily yeah ronnie slash lily where uh, Barry is sent out to kill someone for the detective who found out he was the one that murdered his partner and uh, Barry doesn't want to do it. The guy ends up being a, I think it's a jujitsu master. Yeah. <laughs> he's, he's trained his World daughter as well. <laughs> and it becomes a quite a, a journey for Barry and then Fuchs. What did you think? What were your thoughts on that episode? I mean, that was a real standout for me. Oh, for sure. That was really cool because it was just a great bottle episode just as yeah. a it looked awesome. It had a really great arc that was ultimately very self-contained, mm-hmm. uh, but also drove Fuchs' future decision making and kind of was the culmination of Barry's uh, projecting of the under his underworld life. Mm-hmm. Meanwhile, that like action is really cool, and they had the absurdist angle of having Lily be this like feral. <laughs> a demon of sorts that can fucking fly around and fuck yeah. Barry up. And <laughs> when she first like the... jumps at him and like yeah. she like flies, I was like, oh shit. Yeah, I was, I was laughing re- out loud. Vulture has a piece where they actually talk to the actress who plays Lily and she's like, yeah, they just put me on this harness and they would like pull and it would just kind of shoot me in the air and they would just tell me to like go at it and really cool. And like <laughs> when yeah. she climbs the tree and perches on the roof and then she's on the car at the end. Oh man. She bites um, his face. Oh, so it, it does again that this is cool because like you get the character continued character movement for fuchs and barry mainly barry mm-hmm. but then you also have the self-contained action yeah. and small story in the episode itself so that was my and, favorite episode of the season oh absolutely same for me and i love how it ends with like ronnie fighting barry in the grocery store and like <laughs> uh, just everything about that that whole sequence was really great um, I don't know. I it felt just like this season they really have a direction for the show and the story that they want to tell. And I think that you know, talking about Thrones, and we kind of knew they had the beats, but with we talked about George R. R. Martin not finishing the stories, they they kind of were filling in gaps that maybe they they were hoping not to have to fill in. But Barry feels like it's very it's set. Like they know what they want to say at least going into each season. I don't know if it's like a full story arc that they have written out or not. I I don't know, but I know that that they've been picked up for a third season, obviously. Um, Barry is a show you can't miss. Definitely got to check it out. Any last thoughts on this season before we move on? Uh, No, I think I have it top top two on the year right now. What's what's with it? I still have Russian Doll at number one. Russian Doll is great. uh, Barry two, I think right now. Had a perspective and Veep and Thrones. When I went, when I wake up in the morning, I find myself singing the Russian Doll song. Gotta get up, gotta <laughs> get out. Like just think about it all the time.